let's focus then on the control problem. At which point does the system become uncontrollable? Why is it the more likely trajectory for you that the system becomes uncontrollable? So I think at some point it becomes capable of getting out of control. For game theoretic reasons, it may decide not to do anything right away and for a long time just collect more resources, accumulate strategic advantage. Right away, it may be kind of still young, weak superintelligence. Give it a decade, it's in charge of a lot more resources, it had time to make backups. So it's not obvious to me that it will strike as soon as it can. So can we just try to imagine this future where there's an AI system that's capable of uh, escaping the control of humans and then doesn't and waits? What's that look like? So one, we have to rely on that system for a lot of the infrastructure. So we have to give it access, not just to the internet, but to the task of managing uh, power, government, economy, this kind of stuff. So, and that just feels like a gradual process given the bureaucracies of all those systems involved. We've been doing it for years. Software controls all those systems, nuclear power plants, airline industry, it's all software based. Every time there is electrical outage, I can't fly anywhere for days. But there's a difference between software and AI. So there's different kinds of software. So to give a single AI system access to the control of airlines and the control of the economy, that's not a that's not a trivial transition for humanity. No, but if it shows it is safer, in fact, then it's in control. We get better results. People will demand that it was put in place. Absolutely. And if not, it can hack the system. It can use social engineering to get access to it. That's why I said it might take some time for it to accumulate those resources. It just feels like that would take a long time for either humans to trust it or for the social engineering to come into play. Like it's not a thing that happens overnight. It feels like something that happens across one or two decades. I really hope you're right, but it's not what I'm seeing. People are very quick to jump on the latest trend. Early adopters will be there before it's even deployed buying prototypes. Maybe the social engineering. I could see because, so for social engineering, AI systems don't need any hardware access. It's all software. So they can start manipulating you through social media and so on. Like you have AI assistants, they're gonna help you do a lot of, manage a lot of your day to day, and then they start doing social engineering. But like for a system that's so capable that it can escape the control of humans that created it, such a system being deployed at a mass scale and trusted by people to be deployed, it feels like that would take a lot of convincing. So we've been deploying systems which had hidden capabilities. Can you give an example? GPT-4. I don't know what else it's capable of, but there are still things we haven't discovered can do. They may be trivial proportionate to its capability. I don't know, it writes Chinese poetry, hypothetical. I sure. know it does. But we haven't tested for all possible capabilities and we're not explicitly designing them. Mm -hmm. We can only rule out bugs we find. We cannot rule out bugs and capabilities because we haven't found them. Is it possible for a system to have hidden capabilities that are orders of magnitude greater than its non-hidden capabilities? This is the thing I'm really struggling with, where on the surface, the thing we understand it can do it doesn't seem that harmful. So if even if it has bugs, even if it has hidden capabilities like Chinese poetry or generating effective viruses, uh, software viruses, the damage that can do seems like on the same order of magnitude as it's uh, the, the capabilities that we know about. So like this, this idea that the hidden capabilities will include being uncontrollable, this is something I'm struggling with. Because GPT-4 on the surface seems to be very controllable. Again, we can only ask and test for things we know about. If there are unknown unknowns, we cannot do it. I'm thinking of humans, artistic savants, right? If you talk to a person like that, you may not even realize they can multiply 20-digit numbers in their head. You have to know to ask.